Hello friends and welcome to Stratonite's YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the third normal form. If you're following a normalization videos from starting, then you must have already seen the videos for the first and the second normal forms. If not, I suggest you to watch those videos before starting with this one. In the last video, we learned about the second normal form and even normalized our score table into the second normal form. For a quick recap, we had three tables, student, subject and score. Following were the primary keys. Score table had teacher's name which was only dependent on subject. So we moved it to the subject table. Hence, now the score table is normalized to the second normal form. But we missed to add some information in the score table in our last video. We need to save exam name and total marks also in the score table. So should we just add them in the score table? Let's do it. So here is our updated score table. So coming back to the third normal form, for a table or a relationship to be in third normal form, it must be in the second normal form and it should not have transitive dependency. Remember partial dependency? This time it's transitive dependency, they're different. To understand what partial dependency is once and for all, watch our video for the second normal form. So what is transitive dependency? With exam name and total marks fields, our score table now looks like this. Primary key for our score table is a composite key, which means it's made up of two attributes or columns, student ID plus subject ID. As we can see, our new column exam name depends on student and subject. For example, a mechanical engineering student will have workshop exam, but a computer science student won't. And for some subjects, you have practical exams and for some you don't. So we can say that exam name depends on student and subject both. And a second new column, total marks. Does it depend on student or subject or marks or the new column exam name? Well, total marks depends on exam name. You must be thinking how. In our colleges, practical exams are generally of 40 marks or 30 marks. And theory exams are for 70 or 60 marks. Sessionals are of around 40-50 marks. So all in all, total marks changes based on exam. Hence, we can say that total marks depends upon the exam name. Now in our table, we already know that the primary key is student ID plus subject ID and all other columns or attributes depends on it except total marks which depends on exam name but exam name is not a part of a primary key right this is transitive dependency when there is an attribute in a table which depends on some non prime attribute and not on the prime attributes and the solution to this problem is Take exam name and total marks and put them in an exam table and use exam ID wherever required. So now our score table is storing more information and it is in the third normal form. Hope you like this video. And I hope that now you understand the third normal form in a better way. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do subscribe to our channel.